Born on October 27, 1908 in Brooklyn, New York to Russian Jewish immigrants, Lee Krasner attended Cooper Union and studied Cubism. Her background as an artist was uh, extensive and she was very successful. Krasner met fellow artist Jackson Pollock in 1942, who was exhibiting alongside her in a New York gallery. His work was deeply expressionistic and made her hesitate with her own work. As they came together as a couple, this became even more of an issue. The two married in 1945 and soon moved to a farm in East Hampton, which functioned as both of their studios. It was Lee's idea to move out. Jackson decided that they should move out there permanently, buy a house, and settle down. Now, Lee was very skeptical about this because they had no money. It was at their new home in 1946 that Krasner found a new direction for her little images paintings. I think that she worked small because this was a very practical thing. She was working in a back bedroom in the house where Jackson Pollock had taken over the barn and used that as his studio so that she was working on an easel primarily. He was working on the floor. She had to adjust her art to the space that she had available to her. But her discerning eyes were an important influence on Pollock's work. Jackson often called Lee out to his studio when he was working on a painting and said to her, is this a painting? She more or less held back her own interests in her success and her recognition for his sake. But she did that very consciously. And they worked out this dynamic as a deliberate means to achieve their goals. Theirs was a turbulent relationship, often in a state of unrest. Initially, it was a love affair. I think there, it was problematic because of Jackson Pollock's drinking. Following Pollock's death in an automobile accident in 1956, Krasner created a new series of enormous paintings. After his death, she moved into the studio that Pollock had used, and she began to work much larger. Also, more color appeared in her work, and she became involved with, I would say, much more exuberant canvases. In the 1960s and 70s, Krasner continued her artistic exploration, and her work experienced a revival. Krasner died in 1984. She is considered one of the prominent figures in the abstract expressionist generation. She always had this problem of being Mrs. Jackson Pollock. The women's movement gave her a chance to have recognition on her own.